All right, guys, Bonus of Truckers 2024. This event is already going off. It's not even officially open yet. The people are already crowding in, and we got MF 79 out here, so it's already getting a warm welcome. People are all over it. We got skin mark, we got the golf car, so dude, let's go have some fun. to just rev the ever-loving piss out of everything, which I love. <laughs> So this is my favorite thing, is unveiling the truck to a crowd and uh, finishing this truck was 100% based on making sure we were here at Fantasy Truckers uh, for this event. And uh, I can't be more proud of my guys. I gave them 35 days to make this beat up ass old farm truck into something really cool. You guys out there in the old interwebs told us what to do with it. So we did exactly as we were told. It's pretty badass. Josh and Kenny and the rest of the team just killed it. This thing is, it's a beast. It's a little yeah. bit scary. Uh, it's a lot of <laughs> bit fast and I can't be more proud of it. Uh, the people out here are loving it and we're gonna take it out to the burnout pit in a minute. I'm gonna let Josh do all the honors because well, I haven't even driven it yet. And I like to have a little seat time before I get stupid. I only drove it once. <laughs> well, that's one more time than me. All right, I'm down. You know, I ain't scared. We'll yeah, you ain't scared. But uh, <laughs> hell of a crowd out here. I, I hear tell there's like 76,000 people and uh, trucks from all over the nation. And uh, we're holding our own. We got Skid Mark out here. We got the MF-79. We got the Dolph wrapped uh, Demon 170. It's hot is one thing, but it's Texas and it's May. And uh, second thing is I got cold beer in the Suburban over there with my own driver. So I get to get loaded and you get to do some burnouts. I'm okay with it for once. You are? Yeah. All right, see you later. <laughs> It's a little bit of fun, for sure. But uh, it turned out nice, and it's a, it's fast. It's it's a beast. You ready it, to do some burnouts or what? I think I'm gonna let Josh do it, but I'll watch. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't want to hit a bunch of walls or anything. <laughs> I think the walls are pretty hard to hit here. It's pretty big. Well. I don't know. It could be a challenge. Woodward Dream Cruise. I was drag racing uh, Leah Pritchett, and uh, I hit the wall. <laughs> Now, Richard, if the tire's spinning, that's not going to help you with it. Oh, don't be doing that. Well, we'll see. I think Leah's going to win this. He's spinning his tires, Richard. Oh, well, arms come down. Okay, Rawlings is doing a heck of a smoke show, but yeah, Leah's pulling out ahead. Whoa! Oh, Richard, Richard. Well, it's a drag strip, but that's what those concrete blocks are for. Yeah, it happens. Hitting, but we're gonna go send MF79, see what it can do, see if we can't impress the crowd, and uh, 
stay off the walls.
thought it was. And uh, I think that's a damn good way to end off a show with these guys. So, Hell yeah. Bonnacy Trail Coaster 2024, we had a blast. I cannot wait till next year. Let's go finish watching them because they'll do this shit for like another 10 minutes. truckers for us in the books it was pretty fun dude how was it after i left i mean i had a blast but uh i needed to get uh, home for some uh husbandly duties ah. it was uh it was pretty fun i just started noticing there's asphalt in the fenders even so how did it perform in general awesome Good. um very easy the reverse line lock switch worked um did it it ate the tires like it was nothing i let up a little bit because chris was really stressing about his wheels i didn't want to blow the tires and when i tell you it was barreling smoke out the whole back still covered in rubber which i gotta clean i know i saw some of the uh videos but uh we came all out in one piece right we didn't eat yes. any walls nope nope no walls uh we actually found a piece of somebody's uh tail light in the bed a while ago i took a picture of it there's still a long tread left. Oh yeah. I just, I was being cautious. Mm. Knowing my luck, <laughs> something would have blown. I would have trashed a wheel. Rattles, screw up, double shifts, anything? Uh, the boom tubes kind of boom themselves apart. <laughs> it was freaking loud. I revved it while we were sitting there once and uh, in, the, in the booth and yeah, it's a little much. So as I was creeping into the pit, I put it in second and I kind of just clutch dumped it to take off and everybody in that little VIP container said that they knew what truck it was because of how fucking loud it was. They said it was like reverberating in there, <laughs> which is super cool, but. Well, I think that uh, we get rid of the boom tubes now that we've proven <laughs> yeah. the point and uh, let's see if we can route another small uh, magna flow under there and then come out with just a nice round tip right here. Super clean. Just super clean and nice. Okay. I don't want to run it all the way to the back because I still think we want a little bit of that style and a little bit of that rumble. But uh, we've got one small compact magnet flow up there already, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. Well, maybe we can loop in another or one of their smallest double inlets and be done. Okay. Yeah, we got enough room down there for that. And I definitely, yeah, you're 100%. You need it. Because even, like, dude, the inside of this cab is super sealed up. Like, this is a very nice driver but it is so loud still with that exhaust. It's unreal, dude. That's super cool. I'm glad everything worked. Usually on the uh, first shakedown, we have some problems. Well, that's, I was talking to Zach and Lacey and they was like, why are you nervous? I was like, the only time we've drove this truck is that we took it and did a photo shoot and loaded it on a trailer and caught, brought it out here. I was like, we haven't really shaken it down. And they're like, what? I was like, yeah. cross your fingers, hope for the best. That's why a gas monkey shakes it down like you're supposed to. And that's why I did just fine. That is badass. All right, cool. Well, um, button up what you need to, style up the exhaust, yell at me if you want me to look at it before you start welding, and uh, let's uh, decide what we're gonna do with it. Maybe. Truck is pretty damn impressive. It literally blew the rear tires off. Like, I was pretty excited about that. I feel for Josh, because I know he was nervous. It was the f first time that the truck had even been out. Probably, I mean, we, I, we didn't even test drive it, so really first time it ever got driven driven or beat on like we like to do so i know he was nervous he was afraid of wrecking it and honestly i was afraid of him wrecking it too because it's not an easy fix if he did but he didn't it came out really good he went out there he represented like he should have uh all the other guys got in the ring and they were doing stuff around him it was it was pretty damn cool Change the exhaust a little bit on the MF79. The uh, the big old giant boom tubes, as like Ricky likes to call them, the clap cannons. Uh, they were just a little bit too much. They actually blew themselves apart. But uh, we went to a dual muffler setup, something more quiet. We really want this thing to be nice to drive uh, and still kill it. So let's see what it sounds like. Got to feel it's still gonna be loud though. Oh, 
like it. Your uh, things you made, your little resonators, your what, what, chode cannons? Yeah, we went from clap cannons to chode cannons. The chode cannons, I think, quieted it down a lot. Well, as nice as it is, I think the next move, because this thing does drive so nice, the interior is so nice, AC, everything, I think we need to put power steering on it. The manual's just a little heavy. It's not bad, but dude, if this thing had power steering, I'm not so sure that Richard even want to get rid of it. It drives that good. Well, what kind of power steering are you thinking? Uh, I mean, this is Mustang 2 front end, so we'll just have to go see. I mean, the, like I think that the, one or what? no, no. I think it'd be just fine, just normal. Uh, power rack? Yeah, power rack, yeah. I mean, it's a factory Coyote motor. Don't the trucks got power steering? Like, they're not electric. Yeah. It is electric? Well, it sounds like we're gonna have to figure out a power steering situation. Hey man, electric power steering is pretty cool. Here's the thing, EPS. Well, Richard says he doesn't like electric power steering. He 100% says he doesn't like it. Because he doesn't know. So what if we put it on there and he doesn't know? And then he drives it and he's like, man, this is a lot better with power steering. And then he'd be like, bam, bitch, electric power steering. So you're expecting us to do a day's worth of work on this front end and him not walk back here? I'll keep you busy. I'll pretend like I'm fucking up a bunch of shit over there, and I'll keep him <laughs> off y'all's asses. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get him out to listen to it, and then, yeah, we'll make a decision on that and try to find a kit, but I think it's warmed up a little bit. I kind of want to hear it. Just tell him you need to put power steering on it, and don't tell him what power steering. Yeah. Ricky, what? That's what I'm standing back here for. I'm waiting on some revs. That has a lot better sound though to it. That's yeah. a really raspy, instead of that loud, bah, 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 it's a, just a, yeah. like it sounds mean right now. Yeah, but it's weird though. It sounds like an old school Ford with a healthy motor in it. Like, it does. you know what I'm saying? It's got that old sound to it. it. Like a 351. Like a it. it does not sound like a Coyote. Then we're winning, baby. <laughs> I know, you're already excited, see? That'd be something you could drive back and forth to work, but see, since I'm buying it for myself, then uh, I'm gonna probably end up driving it. But uh, no, this guy just drove in from Oregon, said it took him three days. I'm like, across the country in like a day and a half. Not everybody <laughs> moves that on Pacers, let's be. <laughs> no, they don't, man. Let's go see what he's got. All right, all right. What's up, man, hey, Richard? What's up? Dylan, nice to Dylan, meet you. Dylan, how you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Hey, guys. Mallory. Mallory. Jared. Jared, all right. So, uh, long trip from Oregon? Yeah, it was like a three-day drive, three-day drive. Three days? What were y'all doing, just hanging out? I wish, it was, a, it was a journey. So this is it, it's 79? 79, XLT, short box, tilt steering wheel. Well, that matters. Dual shocks, <laughs> original paint. Pretty sure these hash marks ain't original. No? Pretty clean, honestly. I mean, we got the garage beer truck, but we might be swapping really, it over really to this one. It's a little bit cleaner. <laughs> really, really rust free. I mean, a lot of these, especially from coming up uh, in Oregon area, I mean, that's barely starting right there. And I don't see anything else on the whole truck. The floorboards are freaking perfect. Frames perfect. Couple of, couple of small holes in the bed, but uh, it's a bad dude. Look at that. Look at these inner doors. And, Oh yeah, this could be cool. When I look at older trucks, mainly my list is to go crawl underneath it, look underneath the rockers, look under the you know the the quarter panels. Back of the cabs rust a lot, and then especially since it's up north, you want to look up in the fender wells because a lot of times you know the salted roads they'll drive and it'll rust everything out. So it's got a lot of surface rust, but as far as cancer wise, not that bad. So is it run and drive? Oh yeah. Like road worthy or like around the blocks and stuff? I mean, I would, I drove it around town and it ha didn't give me any problems. So, I mean, I wouldn't drive it to uh, Oregon. Well, uh, Josh, <laughs> help them yank it off and let's uh, take, a, take a close look at it. It looks good on the trailer. Where's the dadgum R? Well, we had to take it off because uh, for, for Richard, I had yeah. to keep it. No. <laughs> I need that R. That's, I'd steal it off one of my other trucks, I guess. Right. 
Bring her out here, man. Got a little noise in it. A little, little power, a little, little squeaking. Was that uh, the, the power steering or was that the transmission? Power steering. <laughs> it's probably low. Probably like it's hot. Oh. It has, it has a lock. Oh. It does? With a key. That's extra. Somebody uh, was a little off on their Ford Blue, but I do like the Coors can wrapped around the old uh, <laughs> coil there. I mean, it's not garage beer, but it'll work. It's not garage beer, it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is like original painting. Yeah. Free trick. I beat my kid's ass me to try that said that's Ford Motor Moco paint. Ford Moco paint! No, it's Ford not, son. This whole cassette? looks like that's good though that's <laughs> ups the value i think you know i just never seen one like that that's pretty different right on factory buttons man xlt package look at you sell it god all right so i know you want six grand but i told you i'd make you a deal so how about four let's uh Let's do four. All right. Now, how much do I owe you for bringing it down here? Well, uh, what is it? It's like sixteen hundred dollars to usually bring it down here or something. So yeah, between sixteen and two grand. I mean, it's a long ways from Oregon. How about we we'll just flip for it? Flip for it? Yeah, you're good at the flipping the coin. I've been practicing lately. <laughs> <laughs> so how about this? Twenty five hundred bucks. I get if I if I win. If if not, you got it delivered for free. All that, you know, well, I'm days. not real super good at math, but that seems like a decent deal. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do that. All right. You got a coin? I don't. You got one? I don't either. We can throw a $100 bill in the air and see where it lands. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be turning his hat around the run. Well, let me, you ain't got no coin either? No, I ain't got a single I, I got coin a, on me. You got, got a coin? I, I got a, you got a quarter? I do. Oh, oh we got, got one. I got a penny. Penny's got a heads and tails. All right. So uh, it's twenty five hundred bucks for delivering it, unless I win the flip. Then it's zero. It's zero. All right. So I'm gonna you, do it. What are you calling? Are you calling Wait, it? it? You want to flip and, and me no, call, no. or you, you want me to flip and you call? I'll call. All right. You gonna call? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Twenty five hundred dollar flip here. Pretty good math. You ready? Heads. Son. Boom. Woohoo! Richard got beat on a coin toss. <laughs> yeah. God dang it. That's not going to make Daphne real happy. Get this fucking coin out of here, Sajin. <laughs> I can't believe I lost a flip in my own driveway. The fuck is a spark o -matic. What does that mean? I don't know. Truck. <laughs> Other than that, it feels pretty good. It's so shit. I need that. It pulls. What the fuck is that? I don't know. They just <laughs> put it out there. Oh, headline is back. Not bad. The engine sounds like it's running good. Is it? Is well, it the big ass tires or is it just loose? I think it's uh, needing an adjustment. Maybe. That'd have been all right. It's not bad. Yeah, but the outside doesn't have it, which is uh -huh. weird. So how's it getting in there? Um. <laughs> what happened? Whoops. 
<laughs> Our rubber seal ain't like quite rubber anymore. <laughs> it's alright. AMD sent us a couple rubber sets, so we'll probably have another one sitting there. That's about a loud ass box if I ever heard one. <laughs> Slave cylinders a little out. Yeah. Okay. Guess we got stuff for the new guy to do. That ain't rolling. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, it just needs a screw put in it. Alright, we're working, we're working. It doesn't hurt my feelings that bad. No. Not bad. Might be a little out of balance. Yeah. Some big ass tires. <laughs> Get those balance beads in there. It'll probably take that away. Not a bad start though. It's a lot cleaner than most of the things we mess with. Yep. It's got a really cool look to it, also. The way it's set up ain't bad. No, it ain't hurting my feelings. Did you try the four wheel drive? No. Mm. Got it that time. <laughs> Dig it. Super cool, man. Yeah. This guy will tell you, I answer all the calls, I pay attention, and uh, he flips a lot of big uh, trucks up in Oregon. You do a lot of four doors, don't you? Yeah, the crew cab four doors, 70s, you know, bump sides, dent sides. Yeah, so uh, he hit me up about this truck, said he'd drive it down here for me if we could make a deal, and then we'd flip for the uh, shipping. And I lost a flip in my own freaking driveway, man. That is not right. I don't know what kind of voodoo you put on that penny. <laughs> but uh, come on in. Let's get you a cold beer. What's cool. the name of your company? Uh, Oregon, uh, Oregon underscore crew cabs Instagram. And then uh, just Poor Boy Garage is our shop. You know, we're not something crazy big. Not We're not Gas Monkey Garage, but uh, we got a little shop and we like to do the four-door crew cab. So. You ain't Poor Boy Garage now. You got 2,500 bucks hey, for driving down from Oregon. I, fi I figured the name of the shop, you never forget where you came from. So you got to you gotta recognize when uh, you don't got a lot of money. Yeah, what he said. <laughs>